Once you open BoardStat, you will be taken to the landing page. Briefly note the bottom bar of the page. This bar will remain the same as you navigate through BoardStat's pages. On the bottom middle of the bar, there is a page button. You can navigate to the next page by pressing the forward arrow on the previous page by pressing the back arrow. By clicking on the 1 to 7, you can see the title of each page. This helps us navigate to a specific page faster. On the bottom right of our view, we see the share icon, which enables us to copy the URL, share the map through social media and email, provide some information on Power BI, and the ability to flag inappropriate content. The last icon is Enter Full Screen Mode, which will enlarge the whole dashboard over everything else on our desktop. Click on Exit Full Screen Mode to return to our familiar view. You can also press Escape on your keyboard to return to the normal view. Let's also look at Focus Mode. The rectangle icon found to the right of each different data representation view. Focus Mode is different from Enter Full Screen Mode because Focus Mode only enlarges our selected view to the size of our web page, while Full Screen Mode will enlarge the view to the size of our entire desktop screen. Every data representation segment view in all the pages of BoardStat will have an option for focus mode, except for the bar graph on page 1. On the top right, you can select which Manhattan community board you want to investigate. Note the inclusion of Marble Hill under 8 Bronx. As well as certain areas in Central Park under 64 Manhattan, and other areas of Manhattan covered under unspecified Manhattan. This is referring to service requests that do not have clear geocoding, such as intersections. Oftentimes, these can be intersections between community boards. You are able to choose more than one community board. Let's choose one and two. Notice how the data updates. Notice if you click on Select All at the top of the Community Board menu, this selects all of the Community Boards. If we have no boxes selected, the result is the same as Select All. For the purpose of this exercise, let's choose Community Board 2. Also on the top right, you can enter a date range of interest. Since BoardStat is using NYC 3-in-1 Open Data, which is only available starting from 2010, that is as far back as we can go. As you can see here, the date range is from January 1st, 2010 to December 31st, 2018. Or effectively, all current data. Let's enter another date range, for example, January 1st, 2017 to December 31st, 2017. On the top left, you can see the top 10 complaint types depending on the given date range. Here are the top 10 complaint types for 2017. Next to the top 10 complaint types, you can see the top 30 complaint types broken down by their descriptors and counts. If you click a specific complaint type, you will see the top descriptors for that specific complaint type ranked by its number of counts. If we click Noise Commercial, we can see its top descriptors ranked by the highest to the lowest number of counts. On the bottom left of the landing page, you can see all the addresses that have received 311 noise commercial complaints, ordered by the count of requests in descending order. As you may see, some incident addresses are left blank and only distinguished by their intersections. On the bottom right, you will see a map of your selected community board or boards with each incident address represented by graduated bubbles in different sizes depending on the number of requests. After clicking on an address, you will see a pie chart showing each complaint type and descriptor received at that address. We can right click on a circle and that leads us to several options. See records, show data, include and exclude. See records shows us the map data for that specific circle in tabular data format.
Show data shows us the whole map data with the map on the top and tabular data on the bottom. Right-clicking on the graph and selecting Show Data will give us a map view on the top and also provide tabular data that corresponds to the data on the map. Also note that we have a new icon, switch to Vertical Layout to the right of the drill down icon while we are in the Show Data mode. If we select Switch to Vertical Layout, we see a vertical side-by-side -side view. Let's return to the icon, which now says Switch to Horizontal Layout, and click it to return to our previous view. Include will focus on only the selected data set represented in the circle, while exclude will eliminate that specific data set represented by the circle from the whole data set on the map. For the rest of the BoardStat tutorial, we will focus on the show data and see records functions. Let's start a simple data journey. Let's look into the address that received the most complaints in Community Board 2. To do this, we need to extend the date range back to January 1, 2010 and December 31, 2018 to get the most data. After the data updates, we can see that the top address is 165 Christopher Street. Clicking on it, we'll see that it accounts for a considerable amount of the noise residential complaints and that its top descriptor is banging and pounding, followed by loud music and party. We'll look into this address more in page 2.